Well, what's the crack? How are you getting on? You're all very welcome to uh, episode 14 of Buckshot for the 28th of June 2017. Tom O'Mahony here. Or O'Mahony to our cousins abroad. Jesus, it's 28, nearly July. I know I say this shit every week, but it does seem to fucking creep up on me. How are you all doing? Hope you're hope you're doing well. Um, I've been doing great. The sun is back out again. The dog kind of had a relapse of shitting indoors. Kind of gotten it back on track again now again. Bit of shouty shouty and the dog just kind of licked my fucking boot and went outside and took a dump. So she's back on track. I'm sure you're all fucking dying to know. Uh, you're, like I said, you're all very welcome to Buckshot. I'm sure you're listening to this on some format of some other. Uh, why not subscribe to the show? I'm told you have to tell people to do that. I will do. I'm sure if you like it, you'll fucking subscribe to it. If you won't, you won't. And you can't tell people to subscribe to shit they don't fucking want. But do subscribe to it on whatever whatever uh, platform you like. Share, tell your friends about it. Um, this is actually a fucking... This is lovely, in all fairness. This is... Um, the sun is baiting in the fucking window and it's only now I see the dog you see has gotten to get up on windowsills and lick the fucking window and in the darkness of, of wet old days that we've had the last couple of days you don't really cop that shit. Sorry about the tractor going by. I'm just giving the just giving the full country environment. I had the window open and there's tractors fucking galore spreading pig shit everywhere to anybody who's not from Ireland. Although I, th- I do know they do it in Canada straight after they cut the grass during the summertime for the cows to store it. They spread shit everywhere and I was raised on this stuff, but I'm only just after moving back to the country, so it's kind of a shock to the system that, yeah, everything's going to smell a bit shitey for a week or two. But it's kind of, it's kind of clean dirt, you know, that kind of, no, you're not getting it, no, no, there's no real talking away shit, sure there's not actual shit, there's no talk, I, I, we're not even two minutes into this and I've discussed already two different types of animals shit, Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me, what the fuck is wrong with me, I just had an outstanding dinner. Oh, good Lord. I don't mean to be bigging myself up, but you should check them out if you do listen to, <laughs> listen to this. Uh, my Not because I'm great or anything, but just the shit is turning out so good coming out of this fucking barbecue. Oh, my good God. Not shit. I'm still going to talk. The, the food. The food is turning up good out of this stuff. I did steak this evening. I did it clean without any cursing, so you can actually play it loudly at work or whatever. Um... I only it's just a short video I'm going to put it up this evening of the stakes it's just it's not that I'm blown it's just my own amazement I'm putting these up going Jesus Christ this is what you do like I don't profess to be any sort of a fucking expert I'm an expert at nothing but the grub is just turning out outrageously good out of this fucking barbecue so the steak this evening give it a look and don't worry it's clean so your children in the background or anything like that you can actually play it loudly I haven't I don't think I've cursed I don't think I've cursed. I'll, ed- I'll be editing it in a minute anyway, so I'll uh, I'll cut out any of the curse words or whatever. So uh, I'm going to keep this short as intro. Sorry, because fucking dog tearing past me there. Um, yeah, I wasn't gigging this weekend. First weekend off in Yonks from not gigging. Um, gigging this weekend. All right. The next of uh, the next ones, I'm going to be in Bogans. Bogans. I love that name. I know I gigged there before. It's in Oma. That one's going to be the. That was going to be pretty much the buckshot show. Um, on the seventh, it's in Oma up the north. It's oh, it was a fucking cracking night out last. It was the Oma Comedy Festival. I think I did did a gig there, and they were just there are fucking great crowds up north. There's no, I don't know whether it's kind of an appreciation for you put the miles in or whatever, or just it's the silliness of the accent versus our accent or whatever that they just seem to love it. I get into, yeah, I get into the naughty people. I like them. I fucking like them. Still, the next one after that, then it's going to be in the Roisin Dove in Galway so do come along I know there's definitely there's a gang coming along that have seen me a few times so um, it, yeah it won't just be me and ye whoever's listened to this sorry I'm fucking drinking I'm drinking so I mean there'll be a bit of banter to be had anybody who knows anything about British politics the DUP have gotten into bed with uh, the Conservatives Theresa May's company Jesus Christ could they find two uglier fucking politicians oh my god I mean politicians rarely rarely have a, are high in their looks value you know what I mean male or female but fuck me May looks like something oh fuck and that Arlene Fo- like May looks like something you'd put in a fucking trap to snare a fucking wolf and Arlene Foster looks like the bloke that owns the fucking trap oh my good Jesus and I mean but 
they're ugly people inside now given give, you look at their values you're like oh you fucking joke at me like homophobic fucking lunatics like I mean it's about to drive the UK back into the fucking 60s and not the good 60s with the music the fucking dreary 60s with the the fucking small mindedness oh my god it's fucking horrific shit but I'm just glad we're in Ireland <laughs> so move over anybody who wants to move over there's loads of space here there's loads of space it's about the same the, I, I heard just listen at the, the same volume of people in the whole island of Ireland is in Manchester. That's it, one city. Holy fuck, like, that's how much space we have. It's great. Um, although then again, if you all come over here, then, I know, we still got fucking space. We still got plenty of space. Be grand. Be grand. We'll find jobs for all It's okay. Not too much on the, uh, not too much on the, on the, on the news. For, I'm not big on fucking watching the news. I listen to podcasts. You know what I mean? And I mean, anybody listening to this probably agrees with me. Like, what are you going to learn? What are you going to fucking learn? More bleak shit. There's nothing that you can affect any of it anyway. So I just fucking go along with it. Uh, the fu- I did I, I, the TV thing even. Fucking hell. I think I was saying it last week. Got a ton of stuff. We got the TV back. All right. And I, I've, I've still tried to keep up. Like I'm only just after finishing doing bits and pieces around the place. Um, Wash the fucking dog and stuff. She, of course, she kicked water all over me. But it's, it's good. Like it's good to fucking do a bit extra. Do you know what I mean? When you're t- rather than just sitting on your hole, I know it's fucking so lovely to sit in your arse and eat biscuits. It's fucking lovely, but you kind of feel good after if you get a fucking thing done. Do you know that kind of way? Like a yoke that needed doing, like fucking putting up a shelf. Jesus, putting up a shelf. It has to be the hackiest fucking line for doing a bit of housework all ever, isn't it? But yeah, I watch. I don't know if anybody's interested for the small bit of sports that's out there. The Lions getting beaten. Uh, they're having a fucking hope based on that. Based on that, I I can't see them fucking having a hope. But my beloved Tipperary, because they got beaten in the championship, have been drawn against poor old Westmead. I'm not sure if there's anybody from Westmead listens to this, but Jesus, Jesus, you haven't had it lucky. 31 points you were beaten in the football the other day by Dublin, and now you got to go play Tipperary. I'm not saying my beloved Tipperary are going to hockey out the gate, but we are the All-Ireland champions, and I don't know if we've ever played you before. I think the last time a, a Westmead person would have been in Thurlis would have been that fucking fail in 90. 89 maybe um, again half the people listening to this probably going what Fela it was a thing called Fela it was on an, it was before your Schlains and what have you and your Oxygens and your Body and Soul festivals and all the rest of it it looks like the Bear in the Woods festival could be back on just seen murmurings of that could be back on could be great but um, yeah ploughing ahead anyway aside from all that stupid shit I'm sure there's tons of stuff but I didn't make notes today I should have I'm fucking all over the shop really just chasing my tail um, I didn't make notes so I, I there's nothing really much more to talk about I had a great podcast with the fantastic PJ Gallagher uh, it was funny because we were, we were going to do it it was a couple of different we were going to I was going to call over to his place and then the way things were working back and forth and then we, I said, you know where it'd be great? It was this bar where I do comedy upstairs. It was like, fucking perfect. The lads are sound. They know me. We'll use the room up there. We'll use the comedy club, essentially. Yeah, got into town and uh, it wasn't fucking open. Totally forgot that the shit in place doesn't open till about fucking half three. So um, we went down the road to Flannery's Bar on Camden Street. If anybody knows, it's a popular late bar. And I walked in. I don't think I've ever been in there in the light of day before and there's this lady working behind the counter called Hannah she's like yeah, I won't say elderly middle aged lady and she didn't give she's like as I asked her is it cool if we record a podcast in here I may as well have said is it cool if and then just start speaking in Swahili because she just looked at me like that's fine that's fine yeah that's no problem and uh, just two old guys sitting at the counter and that so we walked into the into the quieter part of the late bar and just recorded in there in the darkness of it so it was quite funny but you, there's a bit in this and I'm not going to cut it out um, or haven't cut it out I should say there's a bit where she walks in like around the 55 minute mark she's no idea what we're doing that we're actually properly recording a thing or or maybe she knows that a man can edit this kind of stuff out but she just wanders on in I'm like yeah alright Hannah she's like yeah you kind of have to fuck off <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm guessing they were going stock in the bar or something at that stage, or they were going cleaning or something. But it was like, yeah, you kind of have to go. In a very, but it just brilliantly honest and polite. She gives her coffee for nothing as well. She's just a very, very nice lady. So, um, and that was the size of it. If you don't know, like, who doesn't know PJ Gallagher at this stage? You can just Google the guy. He's been fucking tons of things. He had his own show. He made 
famous called Naked Camera. Probably his famous character was Jake Stevens. Oh my good God. One of the best fucking hidden camera shows there has ever been. Oh, for fuck's sake. Probably the best. Probably the best camera show. Bunch of other things after that. We talked a bit about um, him on Celebrity Bonish Door. Or that's Irish for Celebrity Manager. Gaelic Football Manager. But and his latest venture... He played a fantastic part in a movie called Young Offenders, and now they've a TV. They've been commissioned by a T for a TV show that's coming up, and we chat a little bit about that. Mostly, oh fuck, what am I after dropping? Byros, all sorts. Apologies for that. So yeah, we just chat about all, and it just go it go like I knew it would. Any time I chat with PJ, it's as fucking random and as broad and eclectic as some people would say, but it is. <laughs> it's uh. Yeah, I went all over the fucking shop. It turns out there's somebody who's stealing my jokes that told him one of my fucking stories the other day. A true story that I think I've talked about on this podcast, or if not on the, the Tom and Jerry podcast. But you'll hear, you'll hear it quite early on in this one. So, yeah, I'm going to shut my fucking yammer and, and let you get on with it. So, yeah, without further ado, please go crazy. Go wild for the fantastic PJ Gallagher. No, I'm gonna fire it on. I haven't, I haven't started it. Yeah, we are. We're off. People fucking <laughs> never. Young people. They don't. They don't appreciate. The Millennials wafer. fucked up the wafer. Did you ever? Bu- <laughs> that, we're talking about the pink wafer. Did you ever bite it in half and down the fucking mid? What in the fuck? It's, no, what the it's a cop radio or something <laughs> kicking off in the background. We're, we're inside. In the, we're the most creepiest looking two fuckers inside in Flannery's bar. Only two of us, yeah. Yeah, sober as fucking judges. I crack too. a light coming in the wall, coffee and, <laughs> and roundy biscuits. Fair play to Hannah, she sorted us out big time there. Actually, for instance, it's not bad. I was expecting a rough old Maxwell house shot. I drink instant shite all the time, every day. But you know what the problem... one of these wankers, though. Um, but the problem with coffee, I find, is they burn the living bollocks out of it nowadays. And yeah. your man has got barista written on him. And it comes out at 115 degrees, actually bubbling inside the cup. Like. I swear to fuck, I'd buy me more coffee for a Monday on Friday when I finish <laughs> Leave it in the car, and by the time I arrive, it's probably just about right. Well, maybe about nine Definitely, o'clock yeah, that yeah. morning, I can start having it. They're, they're so fucking hot, ah, so Jesus hot. Christ. You know when you have the cut-up cardboard box yolks that you have to put. Yes, yeah, yeah. Carry, yeah. carry the fucking thing around town. I can't get my head around it. And I am. I have to admit, I am one of these wankers, though. Do you, like, do, you, do you go for a black coffee or what do you go for? I would always say an americano, yeah. but I only figured out the fuckers have a scam now. I didn't realize. Uh, you know, you know, if you go into Starbucks, I figured this out last week. But you know, if you go to Starbucks and get an americano, yeah, you get your whatever regular fucking what you assume is a black coffee. Yeah, but it's not. It's an espresso with water and there's some fancy shit. If you ask just for a black coffee, a filter coffee. Yeah. All right, filter coffee. It's a euro cheaper, and you get free refills as long as you're in the bleeding shop. What? Yeah. So there you go. Fucking, but no they don't idea. put that in the bar, do they? I no, they don't. I didn't even know they were still made. It's the fucking corporate conspiracy, man. <laughs> they force you to buy CDs I, I, as well inside there, yeah, the cunts. <laughs> but yeah, it's a euro cheaper and you get free refills if you just get a black filter coffee, yeah? Jesus, I didn't even, I haven't even spotted that yoke behind the counter. Need, they, They're what? trying to top me up with fucking syrups and all sorts of shit. Syrups and shit and going, yeah, yeah, this fella here, look at him. They're looking at you going, this fucking lad now, he'd be a frappuccino boy all day oh long. He's Jesus well worth Christ. five or six euro. <laughs> <laughs> but the majority yeah, of it is... 75 for a, uh, for a filter coffee or something shit like that and then they just keep filling it up and you get the cards you can get freebies all over town if you keep buying yeah what? see now I try. I would say I don't normally drink Starbucks but it's the only coffee shop around the corner yeah. from where we work so I'm in there all the believe I had no idea that they had the, still had the filter joke in the glass glass thing yeah, and I've never seen the glass thing. All I know is if you ask for it, it just comes out with a little tap, I think. Or some little fucking Filipino it's like in the draft back. coffee. <laughs> just squishing, <laughs> squishing beans with his fair face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone they've taken advantage of. Him. In there, in you go. You're, the, faster, you're the only one small enough. Ground them beans. <laughs> oh, he's in for his cup, is he? Just a one fella looking for filtered coffee. Yeah. You're keeping a Filipino in fucking Keeping business. him in business. Yeah, well, I try and do me a bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so I could rant about coffee all day because I am Mr. Wanker. Like when it comes to, I bought an espresso machine and I buy all the bullets. And do you do you go to Brown Thomas for the fucking yolks or the pods? They're, no, they have their own shop now on South Ann Street. So oh, they, they have, do. They do. Yeah. They got a free one in there one day. Oh, but it was yeah. the most content. Oh, it's the most pretentious. But you know, you do them in fucking little. Like you can get them. Yeah, in, I get the little ones. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was. I ha- now this shows you what a snob I am, right? Because right? I got the little ones, right? Yeah. 
and I never even opened them. I was thinking if I'm ever really stuck, it's like my it's like my junkie okay, stash. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, a little yeah. junkie stash. So if yeah, anything yeah. goes wrong, I'll like try that. this one and yeah, hopefully yeah. it won't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and got, so I got me little bullets, me little coffee bullet, little junkie stash. I got another one's out of super value. I haven't tried them yet. Yeah. And I'm still going into an espresso shop and buying them, but I can't tell the difference. Like no, no, I can't. There is no fucking difference. I'm a there was banker. there was one, we got it herself. You see, it's herself's influence. Like, should I be still fucking licking muddy water out of a fucking puddle? Like, well, it's, this is it. When we were in work. The other day, the producer Mike in the show, he gave me um coffee and goes, Try this, it's like this new Guatemalan blend and whatever. All oh, right, yeah, and I was like, Jeez, that's lovely. It was Maxwell House instant, <laughs> and I hadn't a clue. But so, what am I fucking shit. spend the money for? This is the thing, it's all coming out of the one <laughs> fucker's place. Like, there's some fucking Johnny fucking Colombian down there just pipe putting it into different bags. Johnny Colombian, from Johnny Bleeding O'Reilly, yeah. Right yeah, 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 never been past Wicklow in his no. life, the bastard, never mind South America. <laughs> that's it, it's just all <laughs> Coming into Dublin Port and the same fellow shoveling it into different bags. That's all it fucking is. <laughs> yeah, I can't so I don't know. I still buy it like it, I know what I'm talking it about. It was ropey as fuck. I remember the little stuff about two years ago, when three years ago when we herself got the Nespresso machine first and it all was fucking rough now. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it won't say it was it, like it, it, you'd honestly you'd go for the Tesco's brand white label coffee first. Like that's really yeah. also it was the early days, they were just trying but shit it, out obviously. It was, yeah, sure, there were probably bits of hair and fucking shite inside it as well, like but they they it, but nowadays it's fucking I can't tell the difference at all right well I'm truly in cover I'm going to try it now again then today I'm going to I'll have it because it's sitting there like ah I just need to bleed and open it and you know not be afraid of it the, see I'd forgotten too you see I'm still stung by the see I hate fucking going into shops I fucking hate them full stop yeah. like it's unless it's a sound out, sound out say if you if you met say Hannah that's here in Flannery's in yeah. every shop you go into them oh, all day long. Oh, yeah. But see the super values and all that. I'm the same. I go oh. in and like, I get so stressed I start needing a shite. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you just... Oh, oh. All of a sudden I'm there now. I have to go home for the shit and come back. <laughs> this is fucking awful. I Ironically, going in for coffee, which is good for taking a dump in the morning too. It does... Does that get it? Yeah. yeah, it gets me moving. Uh, do it gets everything moving. I shouldn't as well. I'm 42 of a hyperactive bladder now. I'm meds and all. Have you? Yeah. What do you mean? Like you're pissing a ton? Yeah, can't stop it. Yeah, a hyperactive bladder. So now I have to everything. Like and so one thing they say, cut down the coffee. So what do I do? Because I'm a thick Dublin keep, asshole. Keep going just, at the oh yeah, well maybe I'll have an extra cup then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe at nine o'clock I'll have a double. <laughs> Telling me what to do, you wanker, you. <laughs> Do you, well, do you know it's seven years in college you're bleeding and trying to help me <laughs> bastard you mind your own bleeding business if I wanted your opinion I would have I would have paid for it yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's like stupid is that like. what it's called a hyperactive I just imagine a, pure, hyperactive, yeah. a child's bladder just jumping around the place like being hyperactive yeah it's like exactly like that yeah. it's exactly just, like a child and you fill him full of coke and seven up on crisps <laughs> and leave him in the, I'm wondering why he's getting upset in the pub all day <laughs> yeah. that's what my bladder's like when I'm pouring coffee in it it's tired of the red lemonade and yeah, bags yeah. of crisps had enough wants to go home <laughs> And I'm like, sit down, and shut up, stop annoying me. The, match, good the match is over three hours ago, and you're still fucking there with the outlet. Still yeah. sitting there with the bladder, yeah, hopping around, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the fucking as far as the cop, but the shop side of things, and what freaks me out the most is Brown Thomas, because yeah. that was the only place you could get an espresso before. Obviously, there's a new shop. I and know. the fucking wanking you had to do inside there. I hated it, yeah. Oh my hated good it. Jesus. Have you got your card? And you're going, what? Can I just have the fucking yolks? This is a nutty blend. No, I just want, I want fuck coffee. I it know, was the yeah. most depressing fucking thing I and had to do. And then it was, like, well, hold on. Well, what do you take? Lungo, espresso or ristretto? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I remember being asked that question. Go it was ingrained in me your... brain. I was yeah. like going, well, I, like, <laughs> <laughs> and of course me being a thick, I went, Black, normally just black. Yeah. She's there, they're all black. No, you're dead right to stick by your fucking guns there. No, you, I see, I don't believe in actually bending to this shit. We're not in Italy. Do you know what I mean? We're not in fucking Italy. And it's apparently a ristretto and espresso and a lungo are all pretty much the same. It's just there's 40 mil, 100 mil. Oh man, you but know way more than I Only do because I got into this argument and held up the whole queue for about an hour <laughs> with me tub of marshmallow fluff. <laughs> And me slim line milk going, I oh, just like a black, I just want a black, I'm going to mix this other shit for something else, just black. And you're like, how big do you want it? I don't know, a cup, what do you put in a cup? But they, they will level, see, I know we sound like cranky outfits, but there has to be a level, there has to be a <laughs> level, we fucking, we fucking are, but there has to be a level of, ah, fuck off now, ah, yeah, yeah, fuck off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's a place up the street here, and I'm not going to say where it is, but you can, anybody can guess if they've eaten, eaten near here. I went in, we were living... Actually, we're living here in Portobello, and it was Wanker City, like, you know what I mean? It was just... I didn't... Yeah. To say I didn't fit in, PJ... Lots of spinach cocks and oh, all yeah, yeah. 
KLT shorts and everything. They should have thought I was being ironic wearing my camo going out Sunday mornings. I was going to shoot some fucking animals, like, you know. <laughs> they just, they're like, hey, nice, nice gear. It's like, yeah. yeah. We went into this restaurant up here and they, they sell uh, street food, apparently. Street food at non street food fucking well, price. Yeah. It's about three dollars from where we're sitting. And you're right sitting now. on scaffolding boards. That's what wrecked yeah. my fucking head straight well, away. Now the one you're talking about. Out of a fucking reclaim yard, <laughs> and now you're gonna fucking charge me 16 euros. And your man, cut, your man, we walk in, right? There's no serving yet. You gotta go up to the counter like that fucking chicken place. And your yeah. man goes, Do you know how it works here? I'm like, I'm sure you're gonna Any fucking tell they me. Say that, yeah, you know, you're, you're in, in for some you're in a fest. barn of shite. Like that, do you know how it works here? Well, I presume I ask you for food and you deliver it to me, but yeah. then it comes delivered in a t shirt or some oh. shit. It's <laughs> still <laughs> a plate, it's served on a jacket. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 this jacket was worn by a dead man. He was shot in the face twice, and then we put our chips in. For his poetry, yeah. yeah. He was shot but for his... I, but I do think the free ice cream thing is a good one. It's a spin, though. It's I've a gone in there, spin. done exactly what you've done, walked in, been pissed off, yeah. annoyed. The fucking price of this? And then walked out with two ninety nine. Do they know what they're doing, you see? They the know. old one ninety eight, I call it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you see, they, they know what they're doing. I reckon you could do that, too. You could serve... You could, I reckon I could do a full set, our set and clothes with an absolute fucking dream you know, a pure set of shite about 58 minutes of pure shite that's and clothes true, with yeah. a, a two minute fucking storm yeah, just and that's all you're going to be fucking remembering. just drop some Billy Connolly jokes yeah 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 <laughs> some of his real hot shit that young yeah, people have on exactly, here exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. At <laughs> yeah like the last supper bit just to, drop that one <laughs> yeah. And just fucking smash it out. I, I guarantee you. Go full on rich up, right? Because we're done. I was born, <laughs> you know I'm like, wow, this changed gear. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I, I genuinely think we've that's much of a short, small fucking brain. That, that's, we walk away. I did. I went away kind of half chopped, given out to know. I had all intentions when I was eating this fucking You're chicken off, shite. Yeah. I'm going to fucking have a word. This is scandalous. <laughs> Next thing, Downey comes with uh, a fucking to tell us that there was free cones. Sure, of course I turned into a five-year-old yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, went did, over yeah. for a free... Got to pull it myself, PJ. They don't oh, even yeah. hire a fella to fucking no, pull it. No, that's the best part, yeah. It is, I, Pulling your own, you know, it comes out quick. It does, yeah. Quicker than you think the faster thing, yeah. See, look how excited you are already. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking sadness of it, like. I know, yeah, yeah. Like, if you were allowed to pull your own ice, ice creams in a van, though, you'd be... Oh, you get it every single day. Yeah, there's the novelty factor. It's like being, it's like when your ma let you make pancakes on Pancake Tuesday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, You're born to live in and, and, and you eat it, but because you got to fucking make the gaff and all down. But jeez, the crack you had, like. I am gone wanky though into fucking barbecue. Are hey, you? Yeah. I'm gone fucking deep. What the? <laughs> I've gone, I've gone real fucking Two deep. Two feet in, yeah. Oh yeah. my good god! I've, I've, we got married a couple of months back, right? And I said, right, there's one. Fo- I had nothing but piece of shit. Bar- you know the barbecues that just rot. Uh, yeah. Over the Christmas, like essentially, you because yeah, you buy them once and think, yeah. like, can't wait till the summer's out. Or I've used the yolks mm. that you get, in, you know, a little that you put a torch to, and basically everything tastes like fucking petrol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I went, I'm going to get a fucking decent yolk because mm. a mate of mine got got one for his, uh, I don't know, it's thirty or something, a couple of years back, and he still had like it was fucking twelve years old, and the thing hadn't spot of rust. And I went, well, that's the one I need. Proper job. But then I looked it up, and it's Anorak fucking city, like. <laughs> I cooked a 12 hour fucking ham the other day oh what yeah use hickory wood fucking oh I'm gone fucking weird I'm gone weird on it how can you have a barbecue going for 12 hours you can yeah you can turn this yoke into a smoker what if you keep the temperature down around 110 with charcoals and timber I swear my how life how would you do that like you wake up every couple of hours yeah. throw wood in the fucking thing I got up I got up at 6 o'clock in the morning I swear to god Cousin, I fucked it on. This is proper. I'm not. I'm not joking. Joke with you, right? <laughs> I can't have a butcher up the road here, actually. And uh, got all the fucking coals the night before going. Our ready, set it going. And then you know, you kind of only have to top up the coals then, like after about four hours. Once you have it kind of set up, and you have your chunks of fucking hickory wood and stuff inside there, and yeah. they baste it then the last two hours. I'm not joking with you. You'd fucking you would have rode this stuff. Oh, it sounds brilliant. Oh, you just, it, it's just savage dedication to body. I, I mean, it, it's not all that fucking. Like I cooked a leg of lamb the other day over three hours. But fuck me, fuck me. Because you're just barbecue on the shit out of everything. I, piss it's and outside, rain. Obviously. Piss and rain. Everything. I don't give a fuck now. I barbecue <laughs> eggs and everything if I could. Like, <laughs> it's fun. Well, you can fucking do. You can do any kind of grub on it, but if you, it all depends on the fucking timber you're using to smoke it. Timber, like yeah. what, what sort of timber? Like you, the you ones just, that work. Are, so you're not just breaking up old chairs or any of that shit. Unfortunately, no, because it's a fucking <laughs> pine doesn't go too well with fucking. <laughs> the old glass paint. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you're going, why is the fucking ham tasting? What's Tom doing with the hatchet? I'd be like <laughs> busting up the fucking table. No, you can get this stuff inside now at hardware shops and stuff. And it's actually far smoking. It's not expensive, like bags of chips. And it's the same shite they put into the, the fancy boilers, you know, the, the wood pellet. Yeah. Sit pretty much the same shit. Things like beechwood, hickory and oak. Sure, Jack Daniels are cute cunts. What they're doing with their barrels now, when they're done done with them and they can fucking use them no more, they smash them up, bag it, and sell it to you to put it on you. So yeah. you can get whiskey, whiskey oak timber. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous with steaks. That sounds you amazing. You have to mount the house somewhere. You're going to have me bollocks now because I just have to move and got to a tiny, tiny little roof garden where I am. And uh, I know now exactly what I want to do with it. Yeah. Because I'm just looking at it going, this would be great. And I can't finish the sentence. Oh, this would be great. There you go. I've now fucking entered that sentence. Now uh, you so, have it. So come on, I'm telling you, come out to the house one over the next few weeks and I, I will do and one taste of this shit because it's not like the shitty barbecues. Whatever it is about the way this thing is able to seal in the smoke and stuff, you'll, let, you'll come away with a horn after. Look you always, it. What's it called? It's probably called... Oh, it's the Weber. A the, Weber. The American. Weber 990 or the Weber. No, I don't know what... It's no, you can't go wrong if you call this... It's an American crowd because you know them, they know how to fuck Now, it. fuck this. Now, you're full of shit. Oh, this happens to me all the time. So no, I'm telling you. this, it's called a fucking Weber and I go and I go, right, I need a Weber. And then someone says, Weber Kessel. And it's like 50 quid. I take a home. No, no, no. And I put it on. And, I turn, and then I go, I got that Weaver. And then he goes, oh, yeah, it was not, you said it was this. It's only 50 quid. And you go, oh, no, you no, got no, the shite one. You got to get. No, Your you, one is shite. You got to go for the <laughs> Weaver kettle, right? You got to get the Weaver kettle. And you can't spend less than 260 quid. Yeah, you but can. there you go. And, yeah. and, but it gives you a 10 year guarantee and shit. So the thing doesn't fucking rot. So even if you get bored of it, you can come back in five years and go, oh, that thing's still fucking going. Like, but I, it's, it's fucking that's, that's kind that's of the that thing that drove, drew me to it that it wasn't going to fall to shit because I've definitely spent over 300 fucking quid on barbecues for you fucking sure you yeah do you know yeah. what I mean the thing's just rotten fucking yeah. but this joke I'm not joking with you you'll have you'll get real so, fucking deep into it because as soon as you type in Weber or I call it Weber because there's only one B but the Americans call it Weber as soon as you type it into YouTube fuck me yeah, get, yeah, the nerds, uh, the nerds yeah. and it's all these lads with about 25 stone like it's not a good sign yeah. it's not a good <laughs> sign like. and they're all every video starts off with this awkward fucking moment of silence you know what I mean they haven't edited that first split yeah. second where your man is looking off to the left of it going, is it on? Yeah, yeah, is it on? hey guys it's uh Jeff here from <laughs> <laughs> you know the old star with that shit yeah, yeah. but in fairness if you follow what you just skip through it and get to the fucking bits go on Jeff you fucker and get just get to the bits of the timing once you get your timing and temperature, you're away in a fucking hack. You can't read it. I didn't expect to learn so much. This is a good, I'm go. going to come away from this. Right, so it's roundy biscuits. A yeah, yeah. Our fucking barbecue. <laughs> they are fucking nice, them roundies. Yeah, Cadbury, good, I, we're not, I wish we were sponsored by Cadbury's roundies right now. <laughs> sponsored by anyone. I tell you, that, hope with these that podcasts. shop next door has gone fucking seriously wanky as well. Which one? The, the food thing. Oh, my God. It's the flashiest looking giant I've ever walked in. Oh, no, it's cheap. right up there. It is cheap though, because they it's have cheap. Like even that, that fancy water is normally about fucking four quid, because fuck knows. But it was only like one fifty. Yeah, it's actually cheap enough. But it's yeah. fancy shit. It's That's fancy, it's cheap shit. I'm yeah, into it, yeah. I, I, I don't know how, because they have the Fiji oh, water, which is apparently better water. We can't. What the fuck? Do you I, know that Fiji water? Yeah, Little exactly. small square bottles about yeah, three but quid. It's mad money, isn't it? Yeah. Get the big ones inside them for two fifty. There you go, yeah. So I don't know how they're doing it. It's good. I'm into it. I'm into it. I like cheap shit. I've recently discovered Lidl. I fucking can't believe it. You ever got into Lidl mm-hmm. with 25 euro and see what you get? It's yeah. like nuclear bunker fucking shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like unbelievable. The amount of eggs I'm buying. The amount of toe ropes. <laughs> I keep buying toe ropes. Oh, I no, know. I stay out the middle. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 oh, no, I, I, I kind of cop myself on it that small bit. I was fucking... Paddling pools and fucking... The, and my final bit was a drill bit nearly killed me about fucking two months ago. I bought a pack of drill bits. What I was doing, I don't know. But I was going drill and to put up, a, put up a shelf for ourselves and the drill bit actually shattered it fucking nearly blinded me I went yeah, alright yeah. we might we yeah. might knock the middle aisle on the, sh- yeah. on the head a frozen veg <laughs> yeah. oh, alright yeah. fucking drill bits for 50 cents <laughs> yeah. you, know, you have to question why, why, what's fucking wrong <laughs> yeah. with them like, yeah but the uh, but, like, but all that shit you see little when it came at first I remember I was in I was in college and we all thought this would be the fucking job but you went in and it was the bleakest shit of all time it was on pallets I remember it was horrible yeah it was and like it, the fucking foot, all the veg was gone East, off East Berlin fucking yeah, 1986 yeah, yeah. People. had these schnapsel fraus yeah, what yeah. the fuck are them yours real sort of empty looking yeah, like, yeah, shite. yeah. Oh, but at grim. least now they have all Irish like, a lot of Irish meats and products is there. but the fucking the price difference between that and the big names like it's mad it's absolutely mad it's great like I'm into it I'm totally fucking into it 
I don't know how farmers are making any money. I suppose but, it's small fucking farmers are buying, giving your man money direct rather than going through some fucking Johnny Creamery fucker. Is that what it is? I suppose. Like, I, I could, that's the only way I can imagine it. remember when it came out and there was all these rumours. People still believe it that Adeline, Adel, Adeline Lyle, Laldi, uh, Lee, Little, what the fuck they're called? Them Him and Aldi too, yeah, were, yeah. were supposed to be brothers. Yeah, but they were saying the same about Nike and Adidas or something. Yeah, like, but that's the truth though. Is it? It's the fucking Puma and Adidas. Oh, is it? Yeah. Jesus. And your man Adi Dazzler was the one that set up uh, Adidas and his brother, whatever, his name obviously wasn't Puma, but <laughs> the brother already had the name. And they fell out, they were both Hitler youth and all of this shit. Oh, right. And they went off and they were, that's, so that's the original brother story, but any German company ever since, <laughs> Audi and BMW, yeah, they were two blatant brothers. They were brothers. It. And they were little and Audi, yeah, they were two blatant brothers. <laughs> and so whatever it is, whatever it is about German companies, they get paired up and the story kind of lives on, but it's a lot of bollocks. It's only, the, it's the Adidas Puma lads. It's, it's gas stuff from going under the carpets and fierce isn't it like Hugo Boss designed all of fucking Hitler and the Third Reich's gear like I know but they were smart looking yeah. fuckers oh, that's the thing like that's the fucking other side of it too no like. wonder they didn't think they were the bad guys no I mean they <laughs> turned rock up in that shit like you know what I mean yeah but I do know what you mean it's like look at we always forgive Finland get a real easy break don't think they were weren't they yeah part of the access? But you're coming Hungary right. where they got an easy break the Italians with Mussolini we never give them shit no I never give them shit like we see they brought out lovely cars and nice grub you see they had a lot going for them like, too you know but so did the Jerry it's just I suppose, I suppose you yeah. lead the pack you're always going yeah to well this is it yeah yeah when you're yeah. the ring leader <laughs> yeah. that's the problem yeah, the yeah, ring yeah. leader of fashion <laughs> <laughs> I was only talking about it yesterday like they were you'd nearly if you were a fascist like yeah. you were a proper fascist mm. hateful fuck you'd nearly feel hard done by because there were so many shitty revolutions that happened I know yeah yeah but yeah, theirs yeah. was the first time it was media you know, the first yeah. one was world yeah, media yeah. that really brought the attention to it. So, like, you know, the genocide in the Congo happened and the Belgian genocide of Africa happened, all these things. Yeah. And then the, these lads come along and all of a sudden we hear about it and they're like, you are the worst bastards ever. You'd, even, you'd, <laughs> you'd nearly feel sorry for Hitler. That's it. But there was a thing. There was a <laughs> of course you wouldn't. But you know what no, I mean? No, I know. But it, it's funny because I remember hearing Bill Burr a couple of years ago. He was talking about something along the he goes, He goes, what the fuck does a fella have to do? Do you know what I mean? He goes, like, the name Adolf is retired. It's that jersey has been fucking retired. And all he did was kill six or seven million. Paul Box, Chinese leaders, they've killed hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions yeah. And what the fuck? There's still guys called Jeff out there. I'm pretty sure there's a Jeff who's killed seven. You know what I mean? He says, what does a man have to do to beat that? He says, it's all down to the style. He reckoned it was style too. It's like. probably true. They had it, a, it was the whole room. In fairness, Adolf has some man to hold a room. Oh, Jesus geez. Christ. When we were in um, acting school in fucking oh, the 90s now, whatever, but yeah. they used to make us do speeches, and they, one of the things they made us do, which was a great idea, was, you know, get a speech you really would never agree with. Yeah. And then sort of say it like you're, you're totally impassioned with it, you know? So Mein Kampf went around. So we were always, yeah, yeah. you had to learn bits of Mein Kampf. It's so fucked up, like that. That sort of amazing thing that way. If you read it in just paragraphs, yeah, it all makes sort of sense. As long as you look yeah, at the yeah. big picture, you go, "Oh no, you're in yeah, your yeah. fucking mind." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a real sort of uh, rhythm in the language, like your man. Like he Smooth knew how to hold, like he really knew how to deliver a speech. Only he was ranting and raving all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but you can see how he could. See, he didn't have Twitter either to fuck himself no, up either. Like, no, you know he didn't have the Trump fucking direct access. <laughs> yeah. He had lots of editors. <laughs> <laughs> but even it was funny. But you can see how he can get people on side by being this charismatic yeah. person at the right time with all these fucked up ideas and how easy it was to sell. Because he just was, like you were saying, a, a great orator. Like as bad as he was at everyone else, just a, a it man could speak. Standard, if just, he was a stand up, he would have been the best stand up in the world. World. Yeah, you would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a sense of humour at all. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Tash would have carried him anyway. Yeah. But Charlie Chaplin yeah. went for oh, the no. He went for jokes instead of murder. Oh, he <laughs> oh, talk about a wasted life. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the th- there seems to be a standard fucking standard issue thing if you want to take over the world. How you go? Because I remember the and not to I'm doing. We're talking about. I was talking about dropping names. I had lunch with Rick Mail when we were working on Demo and Ivor. Fuck you, met all these brilliant people. Yeah, but uh, we we fucking hit it off because it turns out he's as weird as I. Well, he's weird in real life too, and I'm just as weird too. So it's like notions because we're having lunch this one day, and I said to him, well, "What would you have to do to take over the world?" And he said, "I'm glad you fucking asked me that." <laughs> Right, and I'm not joking. Sure. It was, it was like he was waiting his whole life to be asked this question, and we started to and fro about it. And essentially, he just pointed out exactly what all that Farage did in the UK, what fucking Trump did. It was the exact same thing. You need to find a minority group so that you can get. Minute. You can get at least fifty. You don't. 
you need at least 50% because there'll yeah. be fucking 17% wankers there'll be other you need 50% on your side and you need to go after about 7% and get that 50% because the other fuckers are only just gowls they won't they don't fucking matter realistic and you need to turn them into the fucking enemy that's just like who like and he goes, pick any minority you want. Like the Doesn't Jews, make a fucking example. difference. Yeah, yeah. Just pick him, start inventing shit about him, and get the fucking media on side with you. And sure, you're away in a fucking... But he had it down, like, I'm brushing over. This was an hour and a half of a chat over lunch. Isn't it so fucked up he the had way it, comedians this is, this, think? Like, you leave a comedian yeah. on his own, and people think, what's he thinking of? He's probably yeah. imagining squirrels running around trees. And, no, 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 I'm planning world my, domination. My world domination. <laughs> 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 with my fucking mocha so, frappuccino here yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just sitting there and talk people think he's very artistic too no no I'm just planning oh, the just murder he's a fucking psychopath a few right? million people on the minority I haven't yet chosen to be my scapegoat but isn't it the amount of people like, <laughs> that have asked me when about stand up comedy they go oh you know are they you know is it, is it a cry for help or are you trying and go, no 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 it's oh, really? ego fucking mania if you dug into it it's having people shut up for a fucking hour to listen to the your inner thoughts yeah you know what I mean oh, that's only one step away from a beer hall in the darkness of 1938 you know what I mean you know what I mean follow me if they all started going I'm going to fucking kill for you PJ you go that's kind of cool start thinking maybe I could retire a bit earlier (laughs) than I was planning yeah make it all suddenly it's a political thing all of a sudden things like you get to start making laws and shit going PJ gets to open up his motorbike to 180 miles an hour whenever he wants. He can yeah. clear the motorway. That's how it starts. Yeah, see, that's how it starts. That's they give you a little taste. A little taste. You, little, you, you start thinking, I'm not going to do anyone any harm. I just want to raise the speed limit. <laughs> just for me. Then one you day, all clear off one day your bosom pulls out in front of you. <laughs> oh, the whole lot of them are pulling out in front of me. <laughs> You start saying they're all at it, and yeah, there's a reason behind it. it. Yeah, they're all at it. The next thing, they're not allowed to drive anymore yeah. because they might get in your way. And then there's someone who repoints out your overreaction, and you go, No, um, it's actually, I don't want them because of fucking loads of reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you would you have that person killed too, so. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you have them all, you round them all up, yeah. So yeah. I was actually watching, I, this is to tell you how fucked up in the head I am. I'm obsessed with North Korea. I'm fucking obsessed with North Korea. Like, the, the level of balls it takes to be one of the Kims or whatever the level it takes like lying into people's faces going yeah. we're a fucking class country and these poor fuckers standing there with the ribs showing through going we are a class country aren't we yeah and they're believing I mean? it though is what the man into it. It. but it's like the fucking systems they've set up apparently you can't even grass up like you have sorry you have to grass up every week at least one person that you're friends with that they haven't what? done to the best of their ability. So is say, that true now, or is this like part? You know, of this, it? this you know, there's so many fucking this weird was, stories. Well, this is a guy he was, fed his uncle to the dogs and all that. Yeah, no, well, this is a, this is a guy who who's been there nine times and he's 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 made friends with North Koreans, and essentially. You have to atone for yourself at the end of every week and said, "Well, have you done the best you fucking could doing what you were doing?" And you nearly have to it's nearly like a fucking snag list on a, a, a house build you have to fucking throw in one or two old fucking loose fucking loose hinges there and go I fucking dropped a cup and I shouted at the fucking wife and it's nearly you know like when you were young and you'd have to go to confession, confession you go, you'd yeah, throw yeah. in a few cur- uh, curses at the sister yeah, Just, oh, yeah, yeah, you had to do so but if you say fucking nothing one of your buddies they'll turn to one of your buddies and go here listen you better fuck come up with something or you're getting fucking punished as well you man go yeah look at he did in fairness he did call me a cunt <laughs> and it's it's all about and it's all so nobody can get away with fuck all it's scary and you kind of, and you get a pat in the back then for grassing your man up yeah but it's standard practice you can't turn around and fuck give him a dig then afterwards because then you're fucked what come, you bleeding, come next Friday you yeah shy, yeah like, get me fucking sent to a camp yeah yeah yeah. yeah so they reckon one in a hundred uh, people living there are in a fucking camp Yes, one in a hundred, like, I mean, fuck me. Like. So, one percent of the population yeah. just sitting there in some sort of fucked up camp. And yeah, just yeah, did yeah. Some shit. Getting the shit tortured out of you, like. So fucked up, man. I t- it's gas. Like, uh, have you been watching The Housemaid's Tale? This TV show, The Housemaid's Tale? No. Ah, oh, man. It's, I think it's the best TV I've ever seen in my Is life. It? I think it's the best TV I've What's ever about? seen. The book was written in 1985. This is just amazing woman yeah. wrote this book. But uh, it's kind of like if the US was to go essentially theocratic state. Right. It's mad though. It's brilliant. It's a one from Mad Men. I can't, for the life of me, I can't remember a fucking name. But uh, So the, the, the US has gone full theocratic state, fully right wing. Yeah. Um, and there's, because of uh, pollution in the air and shit, women mm. can't have babies anymore. Well, very few, like 1% of women can have babies. So of course they round them up and they sort of farm them, you know? Fuck. Uh, so that sounds unbelievable. It's right up my it's street. absolutely like. brilliant. And they all have to wear the, you know, they're all, because it's gone totally religious, these housemaids, uh, they're called housemaids. Right. 
got to wear these like uh, it's, what's it the old pilgrim times oh fuck right around, yeah yeah all red covering their hair and shit like that yeah. all that sort of shit yeah. and then of course it's a totally male run thing but then the, the, what's really interesting about it is the men are all sort of typically horrible but you know right, as you yeah, would yeah. expect they're just they don't even see the women they're just like these you know proper fucking loonies running their theocratic state having the crack but the women are so cruel to each other as well like the women who are over fuck. these women it's fucking amazing oh it's what the best thing I've ever seen fucking hell but it's just great to watch like how we can I mean obviously it's total fantasy but just to watch how it they might set be up a this. fucking million miles off some of these yokes were total fantasy a couple of years ago yeah. but now when you start looking at it, you're going hold on Mad Max could totally fucking happen at the rate we're yeah, going. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, what's amazing about this is they set up this brilliant system, this brilliant like, um, social system where everybody mm. is watching everybody. Everyone is scared shitless. Right. Like their neighbour, their friends, their family. Everyone's, like you were saying, yeah, yeah. if you don't come up with something, soon enough you're hiding something. So it's yeah. fucking... Yeah, yeah. So it's so, there's this, this constant tension in this show. It's brilliant, it is. Oh. Definitely, I recommend it. Check it out if you so get what it. what does it need? The Housemaid's Tale, it's called. Oh, definitely going to watch and that. And if you're in, like I am, and you just illegally download the shit. Yeah, the, of course. The last episode was on last week, so you'll be right up to date. Oh, lovely. So I binged the shit out of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> get your packing of roundies and sit down. Should I be yeah. doing a big fucking set of ribs tomorrow anyway? So, <laughs> I'm doing five hour ribs tomorrow. I've never done it. I'm going to go up the road to your man there. Trying to find actually just pork ribs that aren't fucking baconed, you know, where it's got the brine in it. Because you, you, you put your own fucking rub on it. But they're the piece of piss, but it looks nice. Once you put the rub on, get the yolk going, walk away five hours later. They're fucking amazing. You just Man, gonna, it's I'm you, know your shit with this. I'm, I've gone fuck it, but it's not that hard. Like, see, the owl lad too was. You see, I kind of know and the old lad was a fucking ran a beef factory for years too. Like, so I'm kind of just I've been up to me oxters and blood basically for fucking all my life. Like, you know what I mean? I get right fucking like if I wasn't doing stand up, I definitely would be in butcher. I would have quit fucking because I was in the buildings for years before. But the, uh, meat, I don't know what it is. I got I turned into it was like Disneyland. I was down home a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, See, this is like you know, this is like you're like a uh, what was what was that movie? You know, Harvey Milk. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Like the Harvey Milk. You're like head of the scene, right? <laughs> and I was a vegetarian for like ten years. Were so you? I, I was in the closet, dying to have a bit of meat in me. I Why? couldn't get it anywhere, and then <laughs> you know, I couldn't get it anywhere. Didn't know where to go. Didn't know how to prepare it. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know where to touch. Didn't know any of this shit. And now I'm sitting here. Yeah. And you're like Harvey Milk. You're like saying. Be free, man. Be free, man. Celebrate your taste and flavors. And just rolling around and with I'm, hands. And I'm still <laughs> kind of feeling this weird guilt about it. No, no, <laughs> That no, I no. shouldn't feel. I'll tell you what's, what you don't feel guilty about. I once saw a, a cow eating a bird. What? Animals. You see, the people go, oh, but they... But they don't. I'm don't, telling you, they will eat... Sick. They will eat... No. Animals will eat whatever the fuck is handy. <laughs> You don't see a cow like if cows had could actually fuck. Cows are lazy, fat cunts. They'll just eat grass because they're. It's right there. It's right fucking there. I saw him eating a fucking crow that was caught on a fucking barbed wire. The cow just gobbled it off like it was one of those fucking chicken skewers off the fucking yoke, just rubbing his lips back and forth on the wire. Yeah, that's fucking amazing. Cows were, like there was uh, somebody was amazed. Like people were amazed. They were putting it around Facebook the other day. There was a uh, a guy had died out in the forest. Just a hiker had died out in the forest. Two deer fucking ate him. What? They gobbled him up because it was just handy. It was just handy. Are you serious? I swear, do you think like we're all like the stone blooded fucking killers that are wandering around the fucking place in fields and forests? It's like happy fucking days. Like, <laughs> they, they'd fucking eat you in two seconds. I love that there's somewhere out there there's two deer going to remember that time. Jays, we'll never have that again. Sure we oh, they were the good days. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They were the good days in the forest. Oh, I tell you, like this is, but I don't like. I won't. I'd be. I definitely would be ethical in how I go hunting. Like I wouldn't. I'd eat the cunt right down to his fucking nostrils. Like I mean, I don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't. I don't trophy hunt or anything like that. Like, but because yeah, I mean, you don't have giraffes hanging in nah, the ceiling. Fuck really. that shit. Like, but I did. I got into got into got into it one day on radio with with a, a, a friend a bloke we both know who is a meat eater. But like, I just think hunting's wrong. I went really. Oh, I'd be totally the other way. I'd be definitely more pro hunt than I would pro fucking line them up. And yeah, totally. Them, yeah. And the poor fuckers living in the dark, like, and then yeah, at least we yeah. know. I know that fucker had a great life, and I won't pick off a doe, like I won't pick off it because she's gonna reproduce again, and I won't pick a massive fucking healthy looking stag. I go for a bloke who's a bit fucking gammy looking, like you know what I mean? <laughs> Who just won't for the best. It's it's essentially what the call is. You 
look for the fucking see we don't do that in humans like we need to pick off some of the fucking just the horrible fuckers maybe not the fucking scrawny ones I mean just the horrible fuckers just pick them off they're not going to produce that this is fucking prices I'm not going to call the <laughs> we're kid. in the dark in the beer hall that's all I'm saying yeah dude. yeah <laughs> I was in Fiji years ago right and I was I, st- I always ate fish I always yeah ate yeah fish. and I went over and I was in Fiji and I was travelling around with my buddy Pat went down we were staying on this fucking tiny island which was essentially like a little tribal island Class. you know what I mean uh, cl- it was shy was right? it yeah it was shy uh, all yeah fuck. it was shy honestly we were getting eaten by sea the, lice if you'd stick the name Fiji on anything it sounds class yeah it was it? shy honestly uh, that's why I was doubting you with your water story to be honest with you but it was shy <laughs> <laughs> and we went over and uh, we were staying in this and it was like I'd say there were six tours on this whole island nothing else right. and we went and the young man comes to me and Pat and he goes uh, what do you want to eat do you want chicken or goat Right. and in the front yard there was a chicken and a goat <laughs> one <and> around <laughs> yeah, and I was like because my veggie sensibilities are like I can't have this yeah, and I yeah, went yeah. do you have any fish <laughs> and he fucking slammed the door and stormed out and we see him walking back to the boat with his fish and <laughs> It's like he's has to go. He has to go hunting oh, right, fish. Right, 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 right. But the chicken like. was wandering around. The chicken, the chicken and goat right. survived to live another day, and I felt great about it. <laughs> <laughs> Only from eating the next fucking day. I'd say yeah, it yeah. didn't get. To, I'd say he came back and kicked. The how did you? Again. How did you end up a vegetarian? Because I knew three different lads. Uh, who didn't know each other yeah. one of them was name was you know you need a, li- a license to kill to work in a laboratory yeah, yeah 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 and one of them was name was Jim Bond James Bond's Fuck. license to kill Jim Bond license to kill oh my worked God. in the Ballymun Slaughterhouse in the right. 90s so I knew him Jim Bond I, uh, and I knew t- two other lads and they told me shit that was going on and it just fucked me up and then I thought and then every time I was trying to eat I would get sick no, I and get that's that. Like, yeah, the other yeah. way, uh, like when people say, uh, occasionally I'd be away, you know, on family trips or whatever, yeah, and someone yeah. say, oh, pheasant, and I'd be like, I'll eat that. Yeah. Because someone shot the fucker. Okay, yeah, I'd yeah, yeah. I'd have no yeah, problem yeah. eating him. No, because no, yeah, someone yeah, shot yeah. the lad. I was like, no problem. So I was eating a pigeon. He made Steve do, he shot a pigeon in his back garden, and then it was brown sauce and a batch loaf. Was it full of fucking pellets, though? I, I don't know, he said it was alright, he said it was lovely. But I would have eaten that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't yeah. there to see it, but I would have eaten that. Yeah. You no, know. there wouldn't have been enough for the two of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have to hate. But, but uh, yeah, so I wouldn't have, I never had any trouble with shooting them. If you're gonna, if you're the type of lad that can go shoot them, yeah, take yeah. them apart, eat them, more power to you. My problem was, I'm not that lad. I'm yeah, the lad that yeah, just yeah. like pretends that they come pre packed in a fucking <laughs> thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they grow up inside this place. Yeah, but yeah. That's the, the only, that's the only thing. Like, I got to see it from an early age, but they were very, very, they're very strict in the place where the old man was working. It was fucking. They, they actually used to play they still do they play music out in the the, the store talk. they do yeah <laughs> sounds like the Nazi I cast. know I know I, that's the, my first that's fucking, what they I do fucking outfits yeah but they were they just, <laughs> for a totally different purpose it wasn't just for the betterment of so they won't know what's happening it was for the betterment of they wouldn't know what's happening but also meat is better if the animal isn't frightened at the, po- at the point of death I've heard that yeah because yeah, it's, it's all something to do with the adrenaline fucks it's it up fuck, it's rank it's, it's, and it's what would you believe it that they reckon that's actually a defensive mechanism so that the next fucking pair like so that you'd say you, you'd never oh, eaten so deer you before it again. you'd go fuck that I've never eaten deer again that deer was manky yeah, you yeah. know what I mean because this is the, like animals are fucking ridiculous I was reading up on wolves there one day right like them motherfuckers they have a down, there's a certain breed of wolf wait to hear this they have a talk about apex predator they have a, a, this bacteria in their shite right their bacteria in their shite. This, I don't know where it is. Is it in India or somewhere? I think I might have that. <laughs> <laughs> but this bacteria, right, it has spores in it that'll, that basically will decay into the ground. But the grass and fucking stuff that grows up out of that will actually contain the same spores eaten by a certain type of deer that they fancy. I think it's access deer or something they're called. Um, which is a fucking terrible name for accessing deers. Like, but, <laughs> but the access deer, the, when they eat, they eat it, the births, they, their young that they give birth to, will have underdeveloped lungs so they'll be able to be run down so two generations away from both Holy sides shit. both sides two generations away they'll create an underdeveloped fucking prey that is so they can they can run them down easier isn't that fucking unbelievable that's fucking amazing that's like that's amazing yeah. shit that's yeah. I literally mean, really amazing shit us cunts going around with guns we're so fucking pretty yeah, like we're so walking around the forest dropping towards <laughs> <laughs> probably make them stronger or something because it's so full of protein fuck's <laughs> sake see I, I was listening to your Dublin if anybody hasn't listened you have to listen to PJ and Suzanne's Dublin you're after uh, you're moving 
Yeah. I got a pain in my chest when I heard you were, fu- you were saying you were after moving to a new place. Oh, well, yeah, I'm after moving out to Dunleary now. Is that yeah. a fucking stressful fucking time? Oh, it's a bass. There's nothing worse than it. It's their fucking it's worse. Nothing. Though. It's the biggest pain in the house. Did hole. you rent a van or did you just walk away from all, and set fire to all your stuff and just buy new it was a bit like that now yeah, to be honest with you the amount of co- stuff that just got fucked oh out. my god and then you're like and then you never even needed a van really because it don't really own furniture it's yeah, just shite yeah, yeah. just buckets of shit all over the place like that wolf just fucking throwing around them. <laughs> hopefully the next people like locals that move in will be underdeveloped and they can burn them out and take some other shit back <laughs> you didn't you didn't go to fucking Ikea though did you no I didn't no no I didn't have to I was lucky it's like I'm, I'm still in, in the rent bubble at the minute yeah, so it's quite yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me like fuck it, it's grand. Fuck that, it's just so hard to get a place, man. Jesus Christ, it's get, unreal, isn't it? We've gone out the country now, but it, the, as you can guess, like it. the country has suited me, like because it's just I, yeah, I well, was living here in Portobello and it was stressing me out. Like, I came out, I remember I came out one morning, uh, I knew what my days were done here. I came out one morning, like, and you know what I mean? The lads, you, you know, the lads are walking up the street and you can see all there's five men, you can see all their bollocks through their jeans, they're so tight. You're going. I don't need to be here, like, you know what I mean? I don't need to be here, like, this is just... Especially but, with your natural predator instinct. <laughs> it's just... You'd be there, I'd eat that fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Push get to show, I probably would. Yeah. I'd fucking, that'd be five hours of my barbecue, that'd come up fucking lovely at once. That'd be bleeding you'd delicious. Smoke the shit out of your man's smoke, Mickey. <laughs> sitting there, fucking Mickey and this little stick through it. Little kebab cock, and then, mm. Mr. Tom, you really got to stop killing the local hipsters. Ah, oh, but the cocks taste fucking gorgeous. Look. I'm telling you. Nutty. So nutty. <laughs> so nutty. These cunts are so full of kale anyway. Uh, yeah, they're so, well, they're, honestly, they've been feeding on kale. Nobody has a better diet than these fuckers. Kale, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I came out one morning. Still tasting the peanut butter smoothie on me. <laughs> I came out one morning and... I was. It was about five o'clock in the morning, and I was fucking fully geared up. I was heading down to do a bit of, bit of the old shooting, and I brought the two guns out, and I met a well-known Irish actor who lived around the corner from me, and he just started to scream. He'd had a couple of beers, I'd say, and he just started screaming at the sky when he saw the two guns. He started screaming like that. What do you mean? Like he totally he, unre- he was un- so upset that yeah. you weren't shooting. The, well, I don't know what he got. Like he just saw the two guns, just started screaming. Like I thought it was hilarious at first because I went, "You funny cunt!" Because this is actually really a funny. It's almost like a Will Ferrell oh, moment. You thought you were going to shoot him? I don't know what he thought. I was walking to the fucking to the wagon, like with the fucking things. I wasn't. <laughs> and he just started screaming like a Will Ferrell moment at the skyline. <laughs> I went, "You all right? Like you all, you all right, man?" And I was, I, I was still, I kind of was pointing him at him, all right. In fairness, while I was asking him, was he okay? Like, but I had him, like, I, but it was the fucking way he just screamed and screamed and went I'm calling the police I am calling I said you can call oh him. I thought you meant he was screaming at you as in a militant vegetarian no and I think he was I don't know what he just hipster saw hipster in the fucking bog and I think he just saw fucking guns and just thought shit himself shit himself and you're like dude in a lot of movies you play quite an evil cunt <laughs> like <laughs> who was that I was fucking Aidan Gillen it was yeah <laughs> Now, I will say, like, in his defence, he'd had a lash of fucking beer, right? Or a lash of wine or whatever. He just rounded the corner, right? That's the greatest thing. And it was like, would you fuck off? So I just put him into the booth and the fucking yoke and went, dude, relax. <laughs> yeah. They're fucking licensed. Like, dude. And I'm going, I said, do you think I'm going to walk out in Portobello to go rob somebody? Like, what the fuck? Like, I wish I could remember who it was. I was only talking to him this week. It's going to come to me. But they were at a gig. They were doing a gig. And uh, somewhere in the farms, the farmland, yeah. you know. Like, definitely not a Dublin gig or something you'd see. Yeah, yeah. And whoever was... There was obviously local lads out doing their bit of shoot. Yeah. Heard there was some comedy on. Went, oh, we go that was me. Huh? That was me. A gig I was at. Was it? And yeah. they were sitting there with the open Two lights open shotguns. And the rabbits hanging off. Yeah, yeah. Was it you? Yeah, it was me. I swear <laughs> in my life. Oh, was I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to you, because we talked about, I t- told this to a ton of people, like, <laughs> about the, yeah, the maddest gig ever, it was down in, in, I in I East Cork. I story this week, It's so cunt after robbing that fucking story out. Yes. Yeah. Why fuck? Yeah, that's, I was told that story this week. That is well documented on no, podcast, the I Tom and Jerry podcast. To, I am going to remember before the end of this who told me that story. Good. And then you can go chase the I bastard. I fucking... I'm going to remember. Wow. I am going to remember before we are finished this podcast. I'm going to remember you because I was going to tell you your own fucking story. Like literally. Holy something. fuck! Yeah. That's unbelievable. Sitting with open shotguns on their arms. That's and actually, the rabbits hanging after. And I can tell you, like that. Here's here's the thing. <laughs> Only people who know about shotguns would call that an open shotgun. <laughs> so you have to really question who it was because like, that's how I just. Disc- and I've talked about this on stage too. Going like you think this is a rough gig, lads. You know what I mean? I did a gig, and it was. 
But it was so funny that day to question about, about it. It was like, I was the prick for asking him about the guns. Because like, even everybody in the room was totally okay with him sitting there yeah. with guns. Like, what? Sorry, there was no seating. That yeah, was yeah. Man, it was about the, I swear to God, it was about the size of this venue, about 60 feet long. <laughs> and about this, about 30 feet wide. And it was just jammed with blokes. And it was a couple of rough looking birds now inside there. Like the sort now that will probably ride 10 of the lads that night and drink 20 pints. You know them? Love them. Just, <laughs> just, but good crack out birds. You know what I mean? The proper, what do they call it? Session mats, like, but these ones aren't session mats, they're just animals, like, yeah. you know what I mean? It fucking make a mania. Uh, yeah, love them, yeah. But, <laughs> big back women, that's what I call it, because they all have big backs, big strong fucking backs uh, for drinking pints. But it was, uh, well, yeah, so sure, I took one of the guns and everyone at one stage, and because they weren't loaded, it was just a shotgun, so I just click it together every so often, just while standing on stage. So the jokes were completely fucking dying on their hoop, I had to do something. Yeah, cause these yeah. lads just wanted you. They wanted. To, they were happy to be out drinking pints, and when a fight broke out in the middle, right? While I was on stage, a fight broke out. A row broke out. So the whole fucking place turned in on itself and just started fucking. It was like something out of the Wild West. So I just started emceeing the fucking scrap. <laughs> there was about six lads in total all baiting each other. Like and I'm standing with a gun over my arm, like fuck. That's it was the most. Shit. I wish it was video, but it wouldn't. It nearly wouldn't. You'd want twenty cameras to capture how. Yeah, fucking you'd never many, get the you'd full never madness. Get the, no, I just looked like a weird cunt standing with a gun hanging over. My, you know what I mean? It did. <laughs> Yeah. It was the most that's fucking gas if somebody was using that. I'm going to remember who it was. I'm it's got I am going I swear I'm gonna remember who it was. If I don't as soon as I do I'll, I'll send yeah, you a message. Yeah, it just takes me, yeah. Because it was like yesterday or the day before. I'm trying to think of where I if I can remember where I was, I'll remember who said it to me, you know. But anyway, fuck it, yeah, but your story has been hijacked. Wow. There's no doubt about it. I take I to be honest, I take a bit of pride in that because somebody <laughs> thought it was a no, a good enough story. I'm just interested to know who think because that story would be kind of synonymous with me, in a sense, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, go, oh, that, to- that story matches Tom, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we all have that, don't we? Yeah, we all have yeah, yeah. one routine we get, sort of, that's our routine. Yeah, like yeah, Des yeah. Like, Des is immersion. Yes, uh, yeah, Jason's yeah, yeah. fake hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. sneaky poo. Yeah. <laughs> we all have one yeah. that gets tagged with. So yeah, someone's yeah, obviously yeah. just went, yeah, I'll have Tom's. I'll have Tom's. <laughs> I want to come to pick it too, like, in fairness, if I got cranky with a fan, <laughs> I own a gun, like, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> But they, that was the thing too. I was as we as you just you touched on a few. There's a you are a bit of a treasure here, like I wouldn't fucking. Say I know that. you like you are. Fair, no, you are like there's and that's the thing. I wonder is like and it's no slight on like obviously you're PJ Gallagher and you fucking done a lot for comedy and that you had fucking naked. Cam- no, you have yeah. naked camera was fucking outrageous. Like it was it was anything you've done and anything you've done since has always been fucking on par with that. But well, is it a couple of misfires? But that's the but sure who the fuck yeah that's the that's been yeah, that's it. Yeah. So fucking what like, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, the- but the. There seems to be a, like is that a thing? Do you think it's a Dublin thing that people are very supportive of their own? Because it's certainly not a fuck. I don't get that from home. She's like, I don't, know, I don't get it I from really home don't at all. Because do you know the way? But people out here, like people are fucking. I remember seeing you did Celebrity Banner Show, wasn't I it? I did, yeah, yeah. Do you remember them lads? Like I can remember seeing the reaction of the other people that were go- the other when they got revealed to the team who they were getting. Those lads nearly all shit the pants when they saw it was you. You know what I mean? And they didn't know if you knew fuck all about Gaelic football. They were just so yeah, excited. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that was something that struck me. It was like, fuck. You'd ne- you're like, I know for a fact, because down the tip of where it would be is, ah, fuck it, sure, I could do what he's doing. That would be the attitude. Yeah, there'd, be yeah. no, there'd be no love for you whatsoever. It'd be like, yeah, fair play to you for doing it, but I could fucking do it too. You know that kind of... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I really... I, I suppose really you haven't, li- you haven't come from anywhere else either. Like, It's not like you've, you you used to be from Roscommon or something like that. Yeah, I don't haven't said that. That's actually where my birth family are from. Is it? Yeah, it's fucking Roscommon. Uh, yeah, so... But I don't know. I really fucking don't. I honestly don't know. I really don't. I don't know. Maybe it's just that... I suppose I'm just a normal bloke. Yeah, I, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, fucking, I'm grasping at straws. I really don't know. People have always been good. But having said that, if you Google my name, you'll find plenty of people think I'm an awful prick. And they might so? be right as well. Uh, a... but, <laughs> <laughs> like, the more you look like anyone else, the less impressive I fucking get. Yeah. <laughs> but so, so it's just a fucking, it's a, like, it's an, an exercise in disappointment hanging out with anyone for long enough. What was, uh, uh, what was it like doing the young event? Man, there was some fucking, you, you looked like you, were, you would have some crack on I that. fucking loved it I loved it like, you looked I, loved I genuinely because I was looking through it like because you were playing a matter version of you but it was like because I never I've never like the only people I get to play basically are either D4 heads or absolute perverts yeah. that's basically what they, 
<laughs> Apparently, I'm a good middleman for that kind of stuff. And I got to play a handicapped drug oh dealer. Oh my god! <laughs> but it was the, what set what cracked me up was the fucking orthopedic shoe. And then you were appalled on top of that. It's like, oh no, yeah, fuck. that was pure chance as well that that ended up but, happening. But how did he? Did you? Did you had it throw in any suggestions for the fucking? Yeah, but well, the body thing was kind of mine. Like yeah. we were we were doing the rehearsals because Peter mm. was like fucking mad for rehearsals and getting everything right he's brilliant like uh, we were doing the rehearsals oh really like, like nearly like stage stuff like yeah, like yeah like we acted out all those scenes like a week two weeks Gigi. beforehand yeah fuck that's class though like, in one way like I know it's a long haul to go down yeah. the park or whatever but it, fuck yeah, that's but, class because there's yeah. no wondering on the day then like. and in fairness to him he just he, he knew he was onto something so he really wanted to get it yeah. right you know uh, so he brought us down to Cork he made us do out the scenes and all that and he was like son I just don't know what way you're going to look what way you're going to have to get you looking, you know. So maybe get you with a hat, and he's there because you're quite recognisable. So like, we're tr- he wants me to grow yeah, yeah, yeah. beard a little bit, and uh, give me a limp and fucking all this. And Dude. I was like, right, yeah, yeah. And then on the day of filming, I was going, should have thinking of it. But if I was totally bald, I'd look totally different. He was like, you're right. The band around us, like the. Fo- oh and then he goes to catering lady. You don't. You used to be a hairdresser. I don't suppose you still got stuff in your car. And she's like, I do actually. What? Yeah. Five minutes later, I'm sitting there getting me fucking hair shaved off. That's brilliant. So that, <laughs> that's fun. It was just that's yeah, what cracked me. Up. Bald for a week, like. <laughs> but it was bald in such a way, like you know what I mean. You look like dead bald. Do you know what I mean? No, no, know. yeah. The amount of people have come up to me saying you are a ringer from me dad. <laughs> yeah, like you're a ringer from me dad. Like, you're, a ring, you're a ringer actually for the priest that married us. Actually, you come to me to the exact same haircut, the band around the side. <laughs> It's fucking crazy. Yeah. And I love what I liked was the accuracy of reality in when you use the fucking when you use the nail gun, using the tape to hold it back. Because the amount of yokes where you see fellas just pulling the trigger, just you can't shoot with yeah, the you fucking. Do shit, no, like, you won't. Nothing will happen. But you actually you held back the clutch at the front. And actually. even that, like Peter made me play around with that one for the day like you did know he? yeah figuring out how it worked and how to load it because you did it did yeah because you yeah. knew exactly I, that. so I, I'd never held an elbow before in my fucking life yeah 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 so I had a whole day of fiddling around with it he was making me use and then I never had it turned on but yeah. he wanted me to look like so I'd be able to load it without you know, looking at it and all the rest and all of it. Yeah, that yeah. so it didn't look so it looked natural in fairness so he put a lot of thought into he's it he's a you know? fucking good director by that standard yeah, because is, yeah. that's fucking like if another fellow wouldn't think about that you know what I mean yeah, he just didn't load it and, and what it. would my opinion matter either but I definitely saw it and went what did PJ work in the buildings at some stage because you looked like it and somebody had actually thought about it did you got to hold back that clutch at the front too yeah. like. and so he left so in the rehearsal he's there you just fucking play with that so I have a for, co- um, for a couple of days rehearsal I'm just like you know figuring out how to just clip it all together and like Aunt Nelson yeah. after after 20 minutes you know how to do it after a day it's, you do a blindfold you know but it was because I, I, I yeah, sent in an, an audition tape for the Watch Call It Alright <laughs> how are you Hannah? Uh, I'm Brent are you alright? I, Do you need us to move out? No, well, soon. And if you don't of course, we'll wrap it up in the next minute. Yeah. No bother at all. Right. Okay, that's it's, great. It's your place, after all. Yeah, you can chuck us out. <laughs> <I would laughs> yeah. We don't really get a say in the matter, to be honest. <laughs> so, the, the, yeah, so we, that's, that's our marching orders, basically. Yeah, but the, the TV show, when the, I sent in the watch call. I was asked to send in, but I'm guessing it wasn't uh, an, an audition, I guess. Although you never know, because nobody's heard that yet. I still oh, haven't heard that. So all I know is that it's being shot in August and September, up to the 29th of September, and they'll be doing somewhere rehearsals in July but Rats. to this day I haven't heard anything no. so I don't think they have it finished and I don't think they have a fully cast I think they're still sort of I think actually Pete are still filling, finishing the last of the scripts right, yeah, 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 together, yeah. So. have you thought about are you, are you going to pursue more acting because it's, it's I mean, uh, yeah I'd love to but you know yourself it's actually like, yeah 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 what's happening says you like, like what yeah. do you do you know what I mean I'm, so, I'm like you, you, get, you do your stand up you do your radio bits you can't do everything no. so it's like if you get offered it yeah but to go chasing yeah. it and acting's a pain in the hole to go chasing oh cause... my god did it, like did the level I did a fucking Fuck I did a movie during the year there boy and oh man the level of fucking art students that were on it like do you know yeah, the yeah. lads but just are... to try, like you can turn up and do the best audition in the yeah, world yeah, and yeah. then they go oh yeah but I don't like his his ears yeah, and then that's yeah, it yeah, yeah. it's not happening that's it so at least with stand up we control it right yeah we get up we if, if we don't look right in the day well that's how we'll start you know yeah. turn up dressed wrong that's how Brilliant! Grand. Like everything's a bonus. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah you know. Because I'm doing a, I'm, I'm back doing. I've been the most. It was actually a brilliant. I'm back doing the panto again in Limerick this oh, year. Brilliant! I'd never even been to a panto, but myself and Spain were hired last year. Myself and Spain are to be based. The funniest. He was in like, with us doing the interview on four. Yeah, it was just ridiculous how much crack we had. Like, just 
I mean, he was he. You know how bad he is at slagging. Like I oh, think yeah, some of the yeah. musical theatre people didn't weren't ready for him. You know what I mean? Because they're they're soft, nice people. Like I know, and they weren't slaggardly. Oh bastard, my like. god, like, they he's weren't. the best slagger I've ever met. Unbelievable, like, Unbel- and they just weren't. And I, I told, I said, Carl, you you went straight in a ten, straight in a ten, <laughs> like stand up comedian level ten. Like even other stand ups would be getting insulted by what you're saying. <laughs> You ha- these are musical theatre people the, the, the softest of folk <laughs> yeah, These are like timid These are like timid wood creatures You have to come at him At minus four first At least and build him he in He brought me on stage At the, the Temple Street fundraiser Last year Saying this man Can only be compared To some of the biggest Showbiz legends You've ever heard of The likes of Jimmy Savile <laughs> Rob Harris <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen PJ Gallagher <laughs> I brought me on to something similar down in Limerick. It was essentially like, this guy's right up there with uh, the best in the business. So, yeah, well, he'll tell you all about him because obviously he's not as good as them, you know. And just that's what he brought me on to my own fucking show. Like, so your new show is on the, is on the go. The greatest name we will wrap up with that. With oh, that dickhead. Big, yeah, yeah dickhead. Like, dick. Are they putting it on posters for you? Some places are. The Dublin <laughs> theatres won't. The Dublin theatres are shitting themselves. Why? I think that we do kids shows here oh, and especially the and sake, you, you like. wouldn't want it there and Waterford wouldn't do it but most of them are like yeah. Cork that we went down the kids shows on that day and my post was dickheads written in the fire <laughs> 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 so I think it was like grand so most places don't give a shit but yeah they're putting it out so dickheads so I'm, I don't know I actually fucking I didn't I kind of, a part of me was kind of oh, I'll call it dickhead and they'll just end up calling it PJ and it'll be grand yeah but dickhead's just gone around so but it's not it's, 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 it's a much softer word than it used to be like yeah and it suits me as well yeah it does like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The part of being a stand up is realising you are a dickhead yeah. you are a bit of a dickhead yeah. you know you end up no. slagging yourself off more than yeah. anyone else yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's there fuck it it'll be grand yeah. <laughs> dickhead dickhead will do how did the dog keep book festival because I saw pictures of you open and went that's PJ Galler at the like Whatever about it, not, like my missus is from that neck of the woods, it, and even still, I'd have no business. But like, I'm not. I'm calling it out here. Like, how? You're how, right. how the fuck? You're right. That was the first thing I said. Was I have no fucking business being here? Let's be honest. I, and I was saying that only it was Bernie Sanders, the yeah. man that wrote with Nail and High, and all these. And then what the fuck was I doing there? Like, that's no not taking away from was... your stand up, but you're like you're as rough around the edges as I am. Oh uh, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't. I was told like it was. I don't know how I fucking got involved. I but really must have know. known what they were doing too. Going, no, do you know what he's. I don't know. I had a feel. I was there saying they must have like who they were stuck for someone and no one to do it. They were must have bringing Daryl Green. No, he won't do it. No, couldn't get Jason uh, on yeah, the phone. Yeah, no. Hold on, <laughs> these shit Dave's on the Sunday. Um, fuck. <laughs> uh, we we. The, what about the turkey? Dust on the turkey. Will he do it? <laughs> no, no, the turkey Sing won't do it. Sick and tiger in the UK. Sick and tiger. Shit, Jedward, No, they're not comedians. John Conroy doesn't paint uh, fucking uh, anymore. Yeah, yeah. So we're stuck with Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only prick that's going to say, yeah. How did it go, though? I bet you it went fucking great. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Now, it was very, very local crowd. Yeah, yeah. So I got up and I, I did what I would usually do, and it wasn't working, to yeah. be honest, for the first few minutes. And I was like, right, you have to change tack here. And then someone mentioned in the crowd that Conor McGregor was after buying a gaff. So I was like, right, I'm on to something. So then once I started saying, I can't wait to see Conor McGregor fighting Mayweather, saying he's going to do it for all the locals out in Ducky. You know, he's doing all this <laughs> shit. And they loved all that shit. And, Brilliant. You know, jet ski capital of the world and all this shit. Most, so I just... It's the most <laughs> promising and confused place in the country. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable, yeah, yeah. isn't it? I know, like the names. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you know you're in a different yeah, parish. Yeah. You know, when you... Blackwell, hello. Morris Blackwell, <laughs> Ryan Farquhar, yeah. you know, lads with Alistair first, Seeley. Lads, <laughs> yeah, like, what lads names? With, like with surnames for first names too. Hello, my name is Spencer. I bet it is. Yeah, I yeah, bet yeah. It is. Yeah, What's yeah. your first name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer Orangefold. Lovely. Yeah, Lovely to meet you. Yeah. I've moved to Dunleary now, right? Yeah. And which is yeah. a 20-ish minute walk into Dock, yeah. right, from where I am. Now, Dunleary on... Um, the south side I just walk around apologising because it's all my tribe come yeah. in and they ruin it on the weekend yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they come in and they're like to be fair there's a couple of fucking mad looking fucking walking mad- around during the day there too I was there 20 two minutes days. up the fucking road they don't they've never heard they never go to Dockey they yeah, ne- yeah, the yeah. Madsers never go to Dockey they never nah. go to Dockey Cologne they never go further than Dunleary it, they just, it's like there's an invisible oh, force there is there's a microcosm that there, keeps like, them there we were out there we were out there a couple of times like and do you know Costa can't get in there? Costa Coffee, because it's too low key. It's too big, pretty much. It's too fucking common. Basically. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Well, didn't they run them? Yeah, they yeah, ran they Starbucks ran. and they ran them. They wouldn't have them in the Yeah, the they're mainstream. too common. 
the scars. Fucking it? Lo- I gotta love that in one way. Like, it's part of me like Because there's kind there. of a half a hillbilly fucking vibe to that. Like, get out to fuck. We won't have any of that around here, you know. But <laughs> but then on the other side, the hillbilly place would just serve tea and scones. They're serving shit that you've never even oh, fucking heard saying, of. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like lobster brains and shit. Like, you know. Yeah, oh, you can get fucking anything. Yeah, yeah. You've got <laughs> local Freemasons lodging and they're getting all yeah, this yeah. stuff together. You know? <laughs> but sure, I mean, the most popular pub is called The Queen's. Yeah, I know. Like, say no more. Like, I know, which actually does a great gig it, because all the wankers yeah, from Stony yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, dickhead, you're a fucking show. Anyway, anybody they listen to this, head on out to see uh, to see PJ. Thank you very much, you absolute fucker. Jim Hanna is kicking us out, basically. Yeah, we, we have to go. Yeah, anyway, we could rattle on about it. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, the Weber fucking, you got to get on the Weber. Yeah, I'm going to get me Weber oven, Weber and barbecue, whatever. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. You've broken me in. You've taken me into the world of barbecue. Meat. I'm telling yeah, you, yeah. my Harvey Milk. My, my fucking meaty <laughs> arm is around you now. PJ wandering you down yeah. the meaty road. One of these days you'll be like you're tarnished. I'll be wandering <laughs> on. He showed me the way. I was afraid. I was new. I didn't know what to do. He showed me how to do it. Be if don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> fucking vegetarians, you Fuck fucking idiots. <laughs> nice to meet you.